Okay, so back in Chiang Mai, seven days after the race. Uh, the experience was incredible. Thailand Ultramarathon was a really eye-opening experience for me of what is really achievable. I came second, second overall, so just under 30 minutes behind Timothy Olsen. So I'm really, really pleased with the race, how it went. For the first 50k we were running together and I felt really strong. I felt like I was matching any of the kind of effort that he was putting on, in on the hills. We were having a bit of a laugh as well, a bit of a chat, so that's pretty cool. But definitely started to feel the heat towards the end of the first lap. And uh, had to change my shoes halfway in the race into the, into the A station. And Timothy man managed to get out ahead of me. So ended up being a few minutes out of the A station behind him. And then just never managed to catch the gap up again. So I feel like if I managed to keep with him, stick with him the whole way, perhaps it would have been a bit more of a race to the line. But yeah, I definitely think it would have ended up the same way. I think Timothy would have got me on the day, but I feel really pleased with how it went. Towards maybe coming into the second A station on the second lap, um, it was probably around 2 p.m. and they were out really exposed in the midday sun, really hot. And I started to feel, feel the race a little bit then. So it was about 60, 70K into the race, really started to struggle. I think everyone was at that point. I saw Timothy on the turnaround uh, out of the A station. He looked like he was struggling just as much with the heat there. But yeah, in terms of energy levels throughout the race, I felt really confident, really good about it. When I got into the last day station, there was about 14, 15 kilometers to go. I suddenly had a second wind of energy and found myself running pretty strong to the, towards the line. So the course itself, really challenging. Uh, it's two laps of 50 kilometers with 2,500 meters of gain each time round. So it totals up to 5,000 meters of climbing up and down on the mountains. And the trails are pretty technical, pretty rocky and uh, a bit slippy in places as well. Um, and definitely obviously you've got the overexposure with the sunlight and the heat so it's definitely a challenging course and obviously the humidity plays a big part of that out here in Thailand so it's not an easy course and 13 stream crossings every single lap as well so you're running with wet feet all day but yeah really excited by the race really opened my eyes up to what's achievable if I can really dedicate more time to training uh, quality rest uh, my training wasn't ideal leading up to the race and had a few kind of minor little niggles which I really wanted to let fizzle out and feel confident about when it came to race day so i actually gave myself a lot more rest than usual gonna tone down the training a lot so next week and start hitting the training hard again got myself a nice training plan to put together and uh really looking forward to my next race my next major race will be hong kong 100 and that's in january so be my first time out to hong kong and it's gonna be a really competitive race part of the ultra trail world tour so definitely see some uh, some fast pros there so the goal is to get myself as fit as i can in the next month or so really put some hard effort into training and uh, see how i can compete on the day i'm going to go out hard i'm going to try and stick with the leaders or at least you know see if i'm uh, if i'm capable of that so really looking forward to it and uh, really trying to push the limits into this next year now and just see what i can really achieve and whether that means really kind of stepping up to the mark and managing to achieve my kind of true potential or still i'm sure it'll be a big learning curve at the same time and that's what it's all about i'm really looking forward to just always looking for self-development improving myself challenging myself so be some good ultras next year say hong kong 100 in january thailand north face 100 in february and heading back out to hong kong Translantau 100k in march so january february march got a few hundred k races there so it's going to be a challenging year um probably do some short races in between there as part of the training process but really enjoying where i'm at right now really grateful to my sponsors especially run of all thailand ultra thailand for really support me along the way thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video more adventures on the way and uh, hope you're out there challenging yourselves as well happy running guys